Oh, hi. I didn't notice you there. Now, let's get down to business. We're here today to discuss the disassembly of your PS3 and replacing the laser component inside of it. The first step is always to take out the disc. To do that, you hit the eject button. Oh, look. The disc is now out. Now, it's safe to turn off your PS3. Now, on the back of it, you hit that, unplug it, like so. Seems that easy, doesn't it? Now, that's just the easy part. Now, wait till we get inside. Then it'll start getting more difficult. Now, it's safe to open it up. What you do is remove the black bumper on the side of the PS3. So, after you take it off, there's a security screw that you want to use an Allen wrench to take out. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and slide it, then pull it off and set it off to the side. It's really not that important. Now you have this. Now, you see, there's several screws here. You got one right here, here, here. They're all over the place. Whoa. I know. A lot of screws, right? Now, as you can tell, oh look, it came right off, didn't it? See that snap? Just pulls right out like that. And, voila. This, you don't have to worry about that. Go ahead and put it off this side. Now, as you can see, we have the Blu-ray drive. It's right here. Now, you want to go ahead and lift it up. Let me get you in here for a little closer look. And right here, on the side of it, you have a power plug. It pulls right out. And then you have a cable on the back of it. So, let's go ahead and undo the cable. You just unsnap it. And now that we have the Blu-ray drive out, we can go ahead and disregard the actual PS3 now where now we just really need to focus on this. The enclosure. Go ahead and take out that. Okay, now with the screws out, let's go ahead and take off the case. See? There. Now we actually have the Blu-ray drive. There isn't a disc in there. And you can tell because you can actually see the other side on here. Now be sure to take that out. Now we're going to be taking out more screws. We're going to take out the screw here, 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 and here. Alright, now that we have the screws off, we're going to go ahead and separate the two halves. Now keep note that you may have keep notice is that you see that red and black wire, right? The two halves together. Just keep it on top of there so that so it does not separate. Now it's time to take out the laser. First things first is unsnap the specified cable right here. Now on yours it's more than likely going to be a white snap compared to my brown one. And then from there is remove this black bracket so to take this off. Then from there you want to take the, this silver bracket off with this screw, then this silver bracket off with that screw, and from there you're going to be able to freely move this pull off. And as you can tell, the Blu-ray laser is attached to this pull. After you remove that, you're going to be able to take this laser off, replace, um, there's this white part on it. It's really hard to explain. If you look at my step-by-step -step guide at blu-ray.com, you'll see it in the instructions. From right there, it's right here. It's, it's a little hard to see. It's that white piece. 